The spread of COVID-19 has slowed down to a trickle in many parts of the world, but the effects of missed treatment and access to medication, especially for non-communicable communicable diseases, has hampered responses in many countries. More than 15 million people die from non-communicable diseases every year. In South Africa, more than half the population is at risk because of poor lifestyles and eating habits. CGTN's Julie Shire reports. South Africa has a wide network of healthcare facilities, pharmacies and remote methods of collecting medication. Limited access during the COVID-19 pandemic pushed back treatment and prevented many patients from collecting chronic medicines. People were panicky about COVID. They sort of forget that I'm HIV positive, I still have to take my medication. I've got hypertension, I still have to take my medication. Hospitals and clinics are back to normal since the end of South Africa's lockdown a year ago, but medical workers have noticed an uptick in lifestyle conditions such as cancer, heart disease, diabetes and hypertension. When I was diagnosed with hypertension, I was 35, I remember actually saying to my doctor, no, this is a sickness for older people. I can't be hypertension, I'm still too young. But now it's so common, all the chronic illnesses, the non-communicable diseases are affecting everybody nowadays. Government has launched a strategy to tackle the growing number of non-communicable diseases. The onus, however, does remain in what people put into their bodies. you got to eat to purpose. Exercise and activity is influenced by workplace, timing, stress, um, physical inability due to other illnesses. But the other part is to provide resources, scientific, pharmaceutical, technological, plus educational and societal government interventions. The rising cost of food does, however, pose challenges to poor households. People, they believe that eating healthy is for elite, is for people with a lot of money, is for people with we can afford it medical aid. It's not the case. It's the way you prepare stuff. It's the way you know which fruit is suitable for you. It's the know which fruit is not right for you to digest because it's not a blanket approach. It's not a one size fits all. The rising number of lifestyle diseases, especially among young people, is a huge concern for many countries, including South Africa. The state has placed the fight against non-communicable diseases on the same level as tuberculosis and HIV, with more than 50 percent of South Africans at risk of such conditions. Julie Shire, CGTN, Cape Town, South Africa.